All right, welcome back, beautiful Burgundian guys and gals. Today we're going to cover hooves. So hooves are pretty much exclusive to the unicorn class and the demon class. I don't believe there's another class that uses hooves in a game. I don't believe there's a leader or anybody that uses hooves. So it's really just two classes. So we're going to cover all the hooves that are in the game. This is from my master file here. And uh, we're, we're going to look at uh, some possible bonuses to them as well, what it kind of looks like. So the first hoof that we'll start off with is uh, the dark hooves. And just to let you know before, you, uh, before we get any closer than that, please definitely hit the like, smash the like, uh, do what you can do to help this channel grow. Please subscribe as well. And uh, all that, you know, just to uh, help the channel grow. I do a lot of these helpful guide videos, and I try to bring as much of this you know out there for everybody else to see so if you're new to the game I also want to say that uh, there's three tiers there is the white tier as far as the uh, names of the items are are concerned there is the purple gear and then the white the sorry the gold gear at the top maybe you want to call it yellow but <laughs> I like to call it gold so we're going to look at this in depth and see which is better and why. And you can also let me know in your in your own opinion what you like as far as this game is concerned. So let's look at Dark Hooves. Uh, this is a Dark Orb attack, so it adds an extra Dark Orb attack to your attack for a Nightmare. It's actually a good thing because more of the same elements towards your attack actually helps with your attacks. And I believe it also helps with your spells too. So let's look at the other one, Holy Hooves. This is a white orb attack. That's all it does, just adds a white orb toward your attack there. And so that would make this monster have, um, what is it, one white orb attack? Let's go look and see. Yeah, it would have one white orb attack and two purple orb attacks, but still the defense there would be two purple defense. Okay, let's look at the Silver Hooves. Now this actually does a little bit of something here and I like this a little bit better than the Holy Hooves because it gives you extra MP, which MP is great for heals or for uh, magic down, weakness spells, stuff like that. And it gives you intelligence too. So if you do uh, cures, well not cures, but mostly heals, intelligence is gonna make a factor into how much more healing you can do versus what you couldn't do beforehand because intelligence does play into the factor as to how much damage you can give and how much heals you can give. The more intelligence, the more of a healing buff you can give. The more intelligence, the more of a damage offensive attack you can give to the enemy. It works both ways. So, all right, let's back out of there. All right, so let's equip the silver hooves. That's what it looks like there. Okay, let's look at the guard hooves. Now, for the most part, from my understanding, every time you see guard, it basically means you're getting defense. And for the most part, it has been that way all the time. At least most of the time I've seen it. Um, but it does give you five defense here and eight hit points. So you can see why on the right here, there's a little green arrow uptick there and a green arrow uptick there and a red arrow downtick because you're losing you're losing stats from the previous piece of gear that you were um, unequipping. So that's why you see that. Okay, so if we go to if we go to Steel Hooves, you're gonna see eight attacks. So this is a pretty good one. Now, in my opinion, you might have a different opinion, but in my opinion, I don't particularly make these creatures into offensive creatures. So we'll put on the Steel Hooves, but ultimately, uh, my favorite would probably be the silver hooves right here. That would be the silver hooves because intelligence and MP is really what I'm using these characters for. I'm using these monsters for this. Now, if you have a, a demon, I would still recommend that more too because intelligence, you know, is is a, a factor towards how much damage you can output. Higher in, in INT, the better the uh, output will be. All right, so that's my opinion. I know that they put the guard hooves and the steel hooves above the silver hooves, uh, but I would personally pick the silver hooves. <laughs> so anyways, let's go on to the conflicting rims. This is the second tier here. 
And this is interesting because anytime you read conflicting, that means it's fighting against itself. And specifically with this game, it also works the same way too. You have a dark elemental and a holy elemental added towards your orb. So you have a bit of both. In some ways it's actually good because then you can fight holy and evil creatures with a little more damage towards them when you attack with those orbs. But the really good thing about this is you get 25 extra MP out of having them on you. More MP means more heals, more spells. This is what most of these creatures, the nightmares, the unicorns, the demons, they're all about the spells. So personally, I would, I would just I would just rather have more spells all the time. Uh, okay, so divine here, right here, uh, this gives you a double white orb and not as much MP as before, but a little more intelligence. So it's a little bit of a sketchy thing here. You're like, well, should I get the MP or the intelligence? It really depends. Are you going to be able to squeeze out an extra spell based upon the points that you have and the cost towards those points as far as a magic spell is concerned? Or do you just want more intelligence to make your healing a little bit stronger? It's your personal choice as far as what you want to choose here. I wouldn't say one's better or the other, but it really comes down to preference. And also depending upon whether you get the divine or the, or the other one, or the conflicting. But yeah. Um, and then there's the, uh, you know, obviously the cursed ones here is defense and MP. And you could go a little more defense here with this, you know, or whatever. But um, really comes down to preference. How do you how do you want to play the game? What do you want to do? You know, what do you feel like doing here? Sometimes you just need more MP to, to do a spell. Sometimes you need more intelligence to have a little stronger attack. It's going to be up to you to figure this out. If you just want my general rule of thumb, you're not sure, go for the MP. I love to tell you to go for INT and all that, but unless you're min-maxing a lot of things and uh, you've got just too much on your hands, just get more MP. The possibility of an extra spell is still a one whole extra spell over you know, being slightly stronger, okay? All right, and now we got these elegant souls here. Let's look at what this is. This is the top tier stuff, and there's only two, two things to get: elegant souls or white tempest. What does, what does this do here? Let's let's first check this out before we move over it. Okay, so we get, we get three purple orb, attack or dark elemental orb. We get uh, attack boost to thirteen. We get intelligence of ten, and we get uh, twenty MP. Right. So that's all pretty good, right? 20 MP is pretty good. Might not be not be as good as a conflicting, uh, considering you know 20 versus 25, but you could do get attack and intelligence boost there. So let's put this on here, and now we equip it. Okay. All right. So let's look at the comparison between the elegant souls and the white tempest. What is the difference here? Well, obviously more MP. So. Maybe this is the winner and defense and intelligence. Honestly, I'd have to say this is the absolute winner overall because this is the most MP, this is the most defense and intelligence you can get. These monsters need defense, they need intelligence, and they need MP. They don't do a lot of good physical attacking, whether it's a unicorn or a demon, but what they do excel at is spells. So this is probably the best piece of gear. Even if you put this... Even if you put this on a demon, or on a Lilith, or a high level whatever, yes, you're getting white orb attack, but the benefits of defense, intelligence, and MP kind of outweighs a lot of other things. So I would highly recommend this over the Elegant Souls. But, um, all right, so that pretty much concludes the video for that. But what I do want to do is cover uh, and a little extra bonus thing here. If you equip all of the same color gear, you get an all-star bonus for that gear. So let's do white gear here just to show you and if you want to pause the video and just like see what the difference is please please do I recommend it you're gonna see one heck of a difference you're gonna see all the stats raise a little bit usually goes by five sevens and tens but sometimes it's a little bit different but look at this pause the video 
play the video. <laughs> Pause the video, play the video. I'm just saying, look at look at the difference here. However you feel like doing it, but look at the HP go up 10 points, MP goes up 10 points, and we get everything else going up by about five. So also you're gonna see this all-star bonus on top here. Here's the first all-star bonus. Now, as you can probably tell, the white gear all-star bonus isn't as good as the purple gear all-star bonus. So let's go ahead and check that out too. But make sure if you want to pause the video to check, just to make sure, double check, blah, 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 please do. And we're going to go ahead and see one heck of a bump. Now this is going to be about seven points for most of the stats, I believe. All right. Look at that. Boom. All-star bonus of two stars. All two-star bonus. Maybe I should call it that because it kind of looks like that's what it should say there. But um, now let's look at the best all-star bonus we can get. All right, let's go for the my favorites. And we'll just put on one of these gold gear that somebody else doesn't have. Azure. And something here. Maybe the Crimson Gen. How about that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at the stats change right here. 20 extra MP. 20 extra HP. How much is that for attack right there? That's like... That's more than 10. 10 defense. Strength. 10 strength. Yeah, this is nuts. Just saying, if you get the all-star bonuses here, you get one heck of a bump, one heck of a boost. So, yes, this is for demons and this is for nightmares. Um, don't think I have a demon in this slot here to show you, but they do equip hooves. That's their piece of gear that they equip. Yeah, I don't think I have one on this file here or in this um, in this castle, but those are the ones that do equip that and uh, all that sort of stuff. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, you know, subscribe, all that stuff. That'd be great. But um, I will have some more videos coming out to you pretty, pretty soon here. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them as well. I'm trying to work on some guide videos right now. So I'm going to be getting through uh, gear and some monster stuff. And I'm going to be working on maybe even some Grand Edition stuff too. So hopefully you enjoyed and uh, have a great day or afternoon. And I'll see you in the next LP or guide video. Or even multiplayer. Maybe one of that. Maybe, maybe that. <laughs> so all right. Take care. And I'll see you later.